Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm not doing a review, but I'm actually doing a thank you video to my Twitter friend, Donald Darling one And this video is basically, um, he sent me a gift box, and I'm kind of just going to show you guys what's in the gift box. I'm actually waiting on some posters to come, and when those come, I will show you guys. But... I got a lot of stuff from him and he's pretty cool. If you guys want to go ahead and follow him, you can. But, I'm going to show you everything I got. Just, yeah. So, I got a 100ml of the original Selena Gomez with the box. Because I only had the 30ml before, but now I have the 100ml. And then I got a 100ml of Island Fantasy. I also got a... 100 mil of Circus Fantasy, which actually getting these two made me very happy because now I have all of the actual fantasies as 100 mils. I just need to get the Naughty and the Nice remixes at 100 mil. Keeping with the Britney Spears, he got me the original Curious with the Automizer, and it's kind of cool because this is the one that the top of the box slides off versus it just opening up like a normal box. Um, he got me. Cher Lloyd's Pink Diamond. Now, if you guys want me to review any of these things, let me know, because I definitely will. Um, he got me two little perfume extracts. Um, a little Justin Bieber, Someday, and a Mariah Carey M perfume extract. Some little samples. Um, Queen by Queen Latifah, Couture La La, and a Taylor sample. Um... A One Direction sample and a Adam Levine sample. And then he decided to be cool and throw in a little surprise for me. And he got me the uh, Katy Perry Meow Solid Perfume Locket with the box, which is pretty cool. He also got me the um, Taylor Swift Red Photo Book, which is really cool. This was actually a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. And it's kind of cool because it's got some, like, super, super high-res, high-quality pictures of her in there. And as you guys know, I love her. So, like, really cool photo book for Taylor. Um, this was another surprise that I didn't really know about, but I just kind of found out when I got it, was the um, Speak Now album on vinyl, which is really cool. And then... Probably the coolest thing that he sent me in this whole entire collection that is just going to add to my Taylor Swift collection is this. Pretty flippin' cool, I think. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is, um, on the front it says, one of Nashville's finest exports. She painted the world red, and the world ta word town is crossed out. For your... ACM consideration of entertainer, female vocalist, and album, red, video of the year, um, we're never ever getting back together, Taylor Swift, and then this is kind of like a little slip cover that just comes off, and then you have the red vinyl on the inside, but what's cool about this is this isn't just a red vinyl, when you open it up, it's, you know, got all of the red album stuff in it, but the records themselves... Now, I actually have Red itself on vinyl. I bought it a while ago. And but this one I will never play just because... You guys ready for this? Look at this. Ah. The record itself is Red. How freaking cool is that? And I don't know exactly how many, but I know there's a very limited amount of these put out. These weren't actually sold. They were sent out to record companies and, like for like considerations and the record companies were smart slapped them on ebay and people bought them up so very very cool um like i said i'm still waiting on some posters he got me some uh promotional posters that i'm still waiting for to come in the mail but yeah pretty cool i think just a short little video for you guys today um if you guys have any requests of anything you saw here for me to review i think the only three, I got some stuff I already had, but out of the stuff I don't, out of the stuff I got that I haven't reviewed it, I haven't done Q 
Curious yet, I haven't done Circus Fantasy yet, and I haven't done Cher Lloyd's Pink Diamond, because that, oh, I just got this one day, so, of course I haven't done it. But, I will tell you guys, if you guys want me to do a review of this sometime, there is another celebrity scent that it smells similar to, but I'm not going to tell you what it is until we do my review on it. So, let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, um, A the S Perfume on Twitter. As always, you guys, anything you guys want to see, let me know.